You are not Kevin Costner. I was last night. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Better Call Saul characters. Time to get yourself a new motto. Just make money. For this list, we'll be going over the most interesting and compelling characters from the popular prequel series. Since plot points will be discussed, beware of potential spoilers ahead. Did your favorite character make the list? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Hector Salamanca The aging head of the Salamanca family, Hector is an old-school cartel gangster. Cabron, I need to see you a boss. Although adept with violence and intimidation, Hector is ultimately a petty and small man, unable to keep up with the subtle and intelligent foes he creates for himself. Let's discuss my payment. Mm, that time is past. No 5000 for you. The price is 50 How about your payment is you get to leave? Through his actions before and during Better Call Saul, Hector manages to anger Gus, Mike, and Nacho, who hurt or take over his business. It all ultimately causes him to have a stroke. The Hacienda, I pay for it! And you treat us like dogs! Hector, this isn't personal. It is! It is personal! As bitter and twisted as an old desert tree, and just as tough to kill, Hector Salamanca is a villain you love to hate. Your actions here today have endangered them, my interests, and those of the cartel. I am the cartel. Number 9. Stacy Ehrmantraut Mike Ehrmantraut's daughter-in-law, Stacy, is one of the rare characters not directly involved in the criminal or legal worlds of the show. She still asks about him. Where is daddy? She just misses him. Yeah. Grieving her late husband, Matt, who was murdered by crooked cops, she struggles with the reality of Mike's less-than-legal activities. All I want is for whoever killed Maddie to rot in a cell for the rest of their life, and then I want whatever's left of them just dumped in the trash. That's what I want. I don't care where it leads. She worries over the safety of her daughter, and even grows paranoid as a result. Last two nights, I heard gunshots. First night, they were maybe a block or two over and woke me up. However, group therapy offers her some closure, even if it's not as simple for her father-in-law. When I was making French toast, why didn't I remember that it, it's his favorite? I think about Maddie every single time I make breakfast, but not today. While her role in the story's events isn't large, Stacy notably helps shed light on Mike's character. What's more, she provides unique insight into what it's like having loved ones involved in the criminal lifestyle. You know that I would never forget Maddie. I know. Number 8. Ignacio Nacho Varga Nacho Varga is an ambitious lieutenant in the Salamanca crime organization. Savvy and street smart, he's eager to buck his Salamanca bosses, particularly after his father is threatened. I'm so sorry, Don Hector. Unfortunately, his stint tampering with Hector's pills leads him to fall under the thumb of Gustavo Fring. I get it. Just tell me what you want me to do. Lalo Salamanca. Essentially forced to become a double agent, Nacho must walk a fine line to avoid further problems. Going after your restaurants, getting your customers sick, cutting off power, busting open pipes. He's going to chip away at your business until the bosses down south don't think you're worth the trouble. His storyline is among the most intense in the show, with the stress of his situation being enough to get our hearts racing. When you go back up north, you're going to be halfway to being a Salamanca, eh? Thanks. But thanks to his understated yet entertaining presence, it's also one of the best parts of Better Call Saul. Number 7. Howard Hamlin one of the name partners of Hamlin, Hamlin, and McGill, Howard initially seems like your consummate smug suit lawyer. The next time that you want to come in here and tell me what I'm doing wrong, you are welcome to keep it to yourself. And while he is indeed a suit, he's not as bad a guy as he first appears. I always liked you, Jimmy. Remember? I used to call you Charlie Hustle. Unlike his fellow partner, Chuck McGill, he admires Jimmy's determination and initiative. He put himself through law school and 
taken the bar exam without telling any of the partners. Even if the caustic attitude and criminal actions eventually sour him on our protagonist. And the moment that I mildly suggest with empathy and concern that maybe it's time for you to consider retirement. The first instinct you have is to sue me? Howard reacts in a relatable way to tragedy and stress, and we eventually realize that he may be the most moral person left on the show. What's up? <sighs> Nothing. Just... <laughs> you ever have insomnia? Number 6. Gustavo Fring Gus Fring established himself as one of the greatest villains in TV history on Breaking Bad, and Better Call Saul only cements that legacy. I can't allow you to kill Hector. However, I am not completely unsympathetic to your sense of justice. Throughout the show, he runs his criminal empire with delicate grace. Namely, he forms a partnership with Mike to take down Hector and strong arms Nacho into being his spy against the cartel. And those are just some of his endeavors. The merciful thing would have been to kill it. I kept it. While Gus threatening Walter White was incredibly scary, Better Call Saul proves that it was far from being his most intimidating form, which is saying something. From now on, you are mine. It turns out this unassuming drug lord could be far more terrifying than many thought possible. A dog who bites every owner he's had can only be disciplined with a firm hand or put down. Number 5. Lalo Salamanca Another Salamanca, Lalo is arguably the scariest of them all. Hey, relax. Sit down. We're just gonna talk. Not only is he strangely charismatic, but he's also unpredictable, deadly, and incredibly ruthless. <laughs> Plus, his intelligence is something to behold. The work will go on Ask Michael. Michael. Michael's very busy, and he asked me to speak with you. Do you remember what your instructions were? Determined to get to the bottom of his suspicions, Lalo continues the work of trying to undermine and dismantle Gus's operations. Did you push it in a ditch? I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, I mean, you either did or you didn't, so, um, which one is it? Unfortunately for him, he puts a little too much trust in Nacho, which nearly gets him killed. <laughs> While a certain other show has us thinking Lalo won't succeed in all his goals, we're worried about what kind of damage he'll cause beforehand. Number 4. Chuck McGill Jimmy's older brother Chuck is a far more straight-laced lawyer than his sibling. He also suffers from a condition that makes him believe he's sensitive to electromagnetic fields. We first view Chuck with compassion, but then realize how much resentment he has for Jimmy. An online course? What a joke. I worked my ass off to get where I am. And you take these shortcuts and you think suddenly you're my peer? The character elicits a lot of different reactions. Because on the one hand, he's right about how underhanded his brother can be. I am not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216. One after Magna Carta, as if I could ever make such a mistake. But on the other hand, we can't help but wonder if things would be different if he hadn't sabotaged Jimmy at every turn. You have regrets. And I'm telling you, don't bother. What's the point? You're just gonna keep hurting people. That's not true. Jimmy, this is what you do. Chuck's tragic fate, brought on by his condition and hatred of Jimmy, is spectacularly executed on all fronts. He may be dead, but his influence over the show looms large. I don't wanna hurt your feelings. But the truth is, you've never mattered all that much to me. Number three, Kim Wexler. What would a prequel be without some fascinating new characters? And this lovely lady is? It's Giselle, Giselle St. Clair. Better Call Saul delivers on that front with Kim Wexler being the best addition. We are your attorneys and it is our job to advise you. The decisions will always be yours, but if you continue to ignore us, then this is the wrong relationship. 
In addition to being an incredible lawyer, she has nerves of steel and stands up to powerful figures around her, even Lalo Salamanca. Do you know what he did for you? Seven million dollars of your money. He hauled it across a goddamn desert without one penny missing. Her journey also interestingly parallels that of her husband, Jimmy. As he slips back into old habits, she sees the allure of working outside the law and gradually joins him on his path. I don't believe you. You don't believe yourself. It is a lie. You lie. I lie. Given that we don't see her in Breaking Bad, any danger she's in has our hearts resting somewhere in our throats. How'd your day go? I got married. <laughs> Hopefully Slip and Kimmy doesn't bite off more than she can chew. Kim, you're shitty, right? <laughs> Number two, Mike Ehrmantraut. Who says there's no honor among thieves? Mike may be a criminal, but he's not entirely a bad guy. Ehrman Trout, security consultant. The man has principles and he sticks to them most of the time. You took something that wasn't yours and you sold it for a profit. You're now a criminal. Good one, bad one, that's up to you. Though he's an established criminal, he takes important steps in order to provide for his family and keep them safe. You got duplicate routing numbers on cargo, surveillance camera blind spots on the north and the east side of the floor, inventory documents that are going into the trash instead of being shredded. Careful and methodical in everything he does, we could watch Mike perform menial tasks all day. He's so effortlessly cool, and his still waters run so deep that he could have a show devoted to him alone. That all you got? Get on the ground! <laughs> Needless to say, we're glad that he gets so many chances to shine in Better Call Saul. He put me up on a pedestal. And I had to show him that I was down in the gutter with the rest of them. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Werner Ziegler, this kind-hearted German engineer's final fate breaks our hearts. I want to know what your end game was. What did you think was going to happen? I thought I would come back and my friend Michael would be very, very angry. But in time, he would understand and forgive. It was never up to me. Daniel Wormald slash Price. A master criminal he is not. Try zone climate controls. So you can have a girl in a bikini and another in a park and they're both gonna be comfortable. <laughs> You're riding around with two girls in your SUV. You'd be really comfortable, huh? Oh yeah. Lionel and Marco Salamanca. The twins are the grim reapers of the drug trade. <laughs> Ernesto. The poor guy is caught in the middle of the McGill brothers' drama. Why? Just wanted to see me suffer? Mr. McGill. Just wanted to have a laugh at my expense? I called him. What? I called Jimmy earlier before I picked you up. He showed up when he did because I called him. I was worried about you and I just, I called him. Kevin Watchtell. This Southern gentleman is as intimidating as he is fair. I just wouldn't want there to be any question of conflict of interest. Well, I'm not worried about that. If you're willing to stick with it, I say why change horses midstream? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Jimmy McGill slash Saul Goodman slash Gene Takovic. Saul may be the name of the series, but Jimmy McGill is the man behind the name. They called him Slippin' Jimmy. Through this show, we get to know how Jimmy becomes Saul. I'm Saul Goodman, attorney at law, glad to meet you. A better question might be, where are we? We witness his earnest attempts at being an upstanding lawyer and see how his efforts to play by the rules are either unsuccessful or sabotaged. I know I don't sound very good, but I'm just learning. I heard that the key is you have to keep this bag inflated. Throughout the show, Jimmy's scams and trickery remain as entertaining as he is. Could you reach into your breast pocket and tell me what's there? <laughs> what now?
but we also get to see the many other layers of the character. Walk away, that's right, Howard. You know why I didn't take the job? Cause it's too small! With the show exploring his intelligence and his romantic side, among other things, it's safe to say that his journey has been quite a memorable one. That's it. <laughs> quite right, huh? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.